What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the changes for the Gen 2 Voodoo. Uh, we have this 2019 GT350 that was just dropped off for one of our 800R packages. Uh, first thing you're going to notice is the wheels are different. Uh, these are a nice wheel change. Uh, we have already upgraded the tires to Toyo r 8s which we do with a lot of our twin turbo packages. Uh, so those are uh, aftermarket. Everything else on the car is still stock. Uh, one of the changes we have is a new recast block with reinforced cooling jackets. Uh, the cylinder heads also have some support. There's some extra support in the uh, intake valley as well. Uh, we've got uh, reportedly stronger exhaust valves uh, or exhaust valve springs. Um, we've also got an engine that can handle 12 PSI of sustained boost, um, which is good for us obviously and good for anybody that wants to boost their car. Uh, those are definitely some good changes. We also have uh, longer head bolts. Uh, we've got a better head gasket. This is all stuff that's coming over from the 2020 uh, GT500 Predator motor. Uh, so that's all good stuff. Let's see. Another thing that we've noticed is, if you come here a little bit, you can see the signature. The signature plate on the engine now only has one signature. Um, none of this has been confirmed, but now it looks like there's only one person involved in assembling the engines. Uh, that we think that's a good upgrade or a good step by Ford to uh, keep it consistent with one person assembling it. Everything's done uh, by one person, so that's a nice, nice step by Ford. Uh, we also have GT350R valve train components, all the VCT stuff, uh, secondary timing change has all been uh, carried over from the 350R, so that's all standard now as well. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I also have uh, I-beam connecting rods, uh, so that's, you know, the rods were a weak point on these cars, so uh, having I-beams from the factory is definitely going to improve the strength of the motor. Um, the interior is a little bit nicer on these cars now too. They have a different. Oh, what's up, man? What's going what's on? What's up, YouTube? Look who we have here. We have the uh, fastest stick shift S550 slash GT350 driver in the world. Habitat. Just hanging out in the car. Just shifting gears. Just shifting some gears. Right on. What do you think about the 19 GT350? Oh, I love it. And we've got some new uh, carbon fiber inlay. We're gonna put some boost to it. We're gonna put some boost to it. We're gonna put some boost to it. Apparently, we're gonna turbo this one. Times two. Sounds pretty good. You want to check right. out the inside? Yeah, let's look at the inside a little bit. Nothing that's too important to us other than just like some little bit nicer creature comforts. A little bit different suede you inlays like for the seats and the uh, carbon fiber inlay on the dash. Just a few refinements to the interior there. Stuff looks nice. And one other thing I do really like, the rice remy comes out a little bit. Got this uh, spoiler slash wing now. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it. I don't know uh, too much about aero other than I just kind of like it. Probably anyway, calling it a, a swing or a s spoiler wing or something. Yeah, that pretty much wraps up the changes in the 350. All the stuff that we're concerned about anyway. But we're excited to turbo this one and keep your eye on the channel because we're going to have this one wrapped up here in the next few weeks and be making some jam with it. So. Don't forget to subscribe, pass on the channel to your friends, help us grow our content, and we'll see you next time.